presented by Church Tech U, it's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, how to show a still or even another video while playing the audio from a third video. Hi and welcome again to the Pro Presenter Show. This is the show where I help you learn about Pro Presenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. And before we get started, make sure to subscribe and click on the little bell icon so that you can be the first to learn the new tips and tricks I share. Sometimes you'll want to know how to do things the right way, but you won't have time to do it that way. This is one that isn't hard, but it's a good trick to have ready for whenever you need it. This is one for those of you, like my wife, in children's ministry. And let's say that as part of the curriculum, you get a song that would be a good walk-in song, but it's not really... You don't want to see the video on the screen. you just rather have a graphic up. Or let's say that you have a music video, maybe your worship team recorded a music video, and you like the music, but you don't want to use it as, as a foreground video. You want to see whatever you want to put up there, but as a uh, background. So how do you do that? Well, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your foreground video and let's just put it right here. So I've got my foreground video, and this doesn't actually have sound, but imagine that it did. It should be the same way. Now, I can't put anything on top of that because it's a foreground video unless I did the props layer, but we're not going to do that. So step one, we're going to convert this to a background video. So right-click and media cube behavior let's change that to background okay now it's a background so i can put something on it so let's right click on it and go to edit slide and from here let's put a foreground something on top of it so let's just choose this here and see if there's anything in my pictures. No, let's not use that. Um, that's an old header. Okay, let's say we were, I was doing an announcement at my, um, at one of my live in-person trainings and I wanted to put a picture of the ProPresenter 6 keyboard skin over top of that. So now I can just drag it to where it's the appropriate size and then get out of this and now this is in the background, and in the foreground I have this still picture. And because it's a background, I can put anything I want to in front of it. If I wanted to put just text in front of it, I could do that. If I wanted to leave it up as it is, I could do that, and so on and so on. So that would be a way to last second show a video without actually showing the video, just using the audio from the video as part of your presentation. Works great in children's ministry, works great if you've got a video that you need to have the audio from, but not the video, and you really don't have time to rip it out. So this is just a little quick trick for that. There you go. Backgrounds can play audio while covered by something else on the slides layer. You may never need this trick, but if you do, 
I'll let you be the hero at your church. If you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. But if you really want to level up your ProPresenter knowledge, don't forget that you can enroll in any of my ProPresenter mini-courses for free. Just go to tdm.fyi slash tutorials mini, M-I-N-I. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from trinitydigitalmedia.com and churchtechu.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.